Thank you. Uh, I am from uh, a small rural town, a small town in rural western Pennsylvania, and if you don't know what that part of the country is like, let me just tell you a little story uh, to give you an idea. When I was in high school, my soccer coach got arrested and went to jail because he stole a deer from someone's deer farm so that he could have it for his own deer farm. <laughs> That's right, in Pennsylvania, we grow and harvest deers. Uh, and the reason it was such a big deal and that he got uh, arrested over it uh, is that the deer that he stole was valued at over $250,000 because it had like this huge antler rack. Uh, it had like over 30, I don't know what you call it, like antler units. Um, <laughs> But like $250,000 is an insane amount of money. But in Western Pennsylvania, if you have $250,000, you don't you know, invest in a nice piece of real estate or put your kids through college. You buy a deer. <laughs> and if you don't have $250,000, you steal that deer. Uh, and in case you were wondering, no, I did not meet a black person in real life until I went to college. <laughs> it's very, uh, uh, yeah. I did go to college though, so thanks mom and dad for not blowing my college fund on a really fancy groundhog. That was a Groundhog Day reference that happens in Pennsylvania. All right, let's move on. Um, <laughs> Uh, when I was in college, uh, I used to work at Hooters Restaurant. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, no, I did not work there as a waitress. I worked there as a Hooters delivery boy. <laughs> this is a true story. The Hooters I worked at in central Pennsylvania implemented a delivery system but I know what you're thinking, why would anyone order Hooters delivery? That would be like spending the night with a prostitute, but instead of having sex, she gives you diarrhea. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. 